Covering Colorado first at five tonight, supporters of a bolder woman take to the skies in the showdown with Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh. It is still not clear if a Senate committee will hear from Deborah Ramirez. She's now one of three women who accused Kavanaugh of sexual misconduct. And our Rick Salinger joins us live. And Rick, the attorney for Deborah Ramirez is meeting some headwinds in an effort to get her story heard. Well, as of now, Dominic, the Senate Judiciary Committee will hear testimony tomorrow from one accuser, perhaps receive a statement from another, but nothing from the bolder woman who has made some serious accusations. Today, she got some support. The message from above needed no last name. Thank you, Deborah. We have your back. That's Deborah Ramirez, the bolder woman who claims the Supreme Court nominee, Judge, Judge Kavanaugh. Brett Kavanaugh, exposed himself to her at a college party while at Yale. Support in her town is not hard to find. A woman is not going to make uh, that kind of an accusation unless there's, there's some substance behind it. Demeaning her as a... Uh someone who's trying to smear him or take advantage of a situation is disgusting. But Kavanaugh has steadfastly denied all the sexual accusations. His attorney spoke on CBS this morning. From day one, Judge Kavanaugh said he didn't do this. He never did this, and he's never done anything like it. The bolder woman, Ramirez, wants to have her claims investigated by the FBI. Her attorney is John Clune. If they don't do that, if they decide that they, they're not going to do an investigation uh, and they actually make an invitation for her to come and testify, you know, we'll, we'll let Ms. Ramirez make that decision. Judge Kavanaugh will be there to defend himself. I'm not going to let false accusations drive me out of this process. And those words of support for Ramirez were delivered by the anti-sexism group Ultraviolet. John Clune, the attorney for the Boulder woman, has indicated that they have not received an invitation to testify at tomorrow's hearing. We'll see if that changes. Live in Boulder, Rick Salinger, covering Colorado First.